So one of the things that I discovered after I finished all the videos in this series was that um, there's a couple of things that are sort of confusing about layers and I hadn't really explained it very well. So I'm just going to make a prequel video now um, just to show really quickly how layers can be used. Um, I'm just going to quickly make a sort of boxish shape and we'll fill that in with a red color and then I'm going to quickly make a circle-ish shape. Oh, not really looking very circle-ish, but... And I'll fill that in with a different color. And so this will be on uh, layer one. And then we'll make a new layer, call it layer, t layer two. And... Um, if I had continued drawing, so let's do shapes on one line and lines and squiggles on another. So I'm just going to do a straight vertical line, press enter. Maybe I'll increase the width of that a little bit just to make it obvious. Maybe give it some color. Oops, there we go. Um, let me cap it off. And then we'll do one more. Um, Enter. And we'll give that some color as well. And some width. Cap that. Okay. So I've got uh, lines and uh, shapes. And they're all on layer one right now. So what I can do here um, is with this object. So there's a whole bunch of different possibilities, but if I go under layer, I can actually move the selection to the layer above. And you'll see here, layer one is below layer two. So I want to move this onto layer two. So I move it onto the layer above. I'm just going to make it really, really obvious right now though, because I want to actually use these moves. And so I can move this to the very bottom of the stack. And so now it goes behind all of the other three things. Uh, and then this one, I can just slowly move it down one at a time. So move it behind the orange, move it behind the red. I can move it behind the purple, but actually I want it to sort of be in front of the purple. And so now when I move these to layer two, so I'm just going to, I've still got my green line selected and I go to layer, move selection to layer above. So now it's on layer two. And if I turn the eyeball off and on, you can see it's clearly on layer two. Whereas the purple one is not, so let's go fix that. So I click on purple, move selection to layer above. And now it's actually on top of the green line, which is not what I wanted. So I go to my green line and I say, move my green line to the top there. So now my green line is on top and the purple squiggle is in behind it. And if I click on layer two, so this is my lines. There it is. And this is my shapes. Okay, and I can also lock them. So for instance, my shapes layer is now locked. If I try and click on it, nothing happens. If I click on my lines, that still works. I'll just control Z that. And then I can lock also my lines layer and now there's nothing, nothing is selectable. Okay, so I'll just make those available again. And if I move the shapes layer to the top, so I just move it up one. Now you can see that the entire of the shapes layer, which is these two objects are now up. And I can always click on orange now that I've unlocked it. And I can move the orange below the red. And I can even add more shapes into this. So I'll add a quick little triangle shape. And I'll fill that with yellow. Okay. And move that back. So you see how if I go here, the menu choices change. And if I go here to the black arrow, then I can use the different menu choices to move that around. Okay, so that's just a quick introduction to object layering, which is object layers over here and um, actual layers layering over here.